Hey everyone, I'm Rosie and welcome back to my channel. So a couple weeks ago, I got these two old Life magazines and I thought these would be the perfect place to start for today's collage. Now, last time I used an old Life magazine, I think it was from 1956, 1958, one of those, but these are from 1937 and 1940. So even older and I'm really pumped to look through these today, see what the ads are like, see what cool images we have that we can use for a collage. So let's start flipping through these. Let's start with this one because I already really like the girl on the front. I feel like there's some cool things we could do with that. But, uh, oh, these dogs, oh my God. Okay, we are off to a good start. Another dog, we might be making a dog collage. <laughs> That is a really nice bowl of cereal. We might have to use that. Ooh, these spoons. Those are nice spoons. <laughs> oh my God. Rich crackers? What? They look exactly the same. These kids raising their hands, the quiz kids. Wow, that's pretty great. <laughs> Whoa. I didn't even do that. We're missing an image and I didn't even do that. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> and another dog. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, these boys reading the Life magazine. That is a good picture with their feet up. I really like that. I feel like we could do some cool things with that. I mean, all of these people reading magazines, I feel like have potential. So I really love this image with these boys reading the Life magazine. It's just, the composition is great. It's such a good image. I just gotta think of some place really funny to put them, but I really love that one, so I pulled it out. There's also this beer bottle here, which I, it's so large, we can have a lot of fun with this. We can play with scale. Even this bottle cap by itself is great. I think that this has a lot of potential, so I'm gonna pull that out. I also really love this image of this woman here. The fact her elbows are up on the table, I feel like we could prop her in a mountain range and have her elbows up on the side of a mountain, and that would be a really cool, kind of powerful image. And I really like that, so I think I'm gonna pull her out too. I don't wanna pull out too many images, so I'm gonna stop for now. I pulled out three that I talked about, and I think we should work through these before I pull anything else out. I do love that both of these images are black and white, and so if we pair them with a full color photo, they're gonna look really cool. Then I also just, this beer bottle, I feel like we could put it anywhere and it would be cool. I'm now gonna flip through some other books and hopefully pull out some images that we can use with the ones I took out from the magazine and hopefully make a cool collage. I found a lot of great stuff. Let's first start with the boys reading the magazine. And the thing I noticed about all of these is I'm playing with scale in every single one, as you'll see. So with these boys, I wanted to make them feel really small. So I thought first, maybe we could put them with plants or flowers. And I thought maybe I could nestle them in here and that would make them feel really small and they might fit nice there. That's the first image I found. But then I was thinking maybe what if we put them with mushrooms and I could put them maybe 
under here and they would feel even smaller. And I think that there's a lot of good environments in this book, this image in particular is good. But then I found this image in this book. Oh boy, am I gonna be able to find it? Here it is, that was really up close and personal with these flowers. And I thought that maybe they would nestle right in there really perfectly. So I really fell in love with this image once I found it. Although I did find a few that I also think would work, but I really love this image. So I'm gonna pair these two together. The next image is this beer bottle. And I do think this is still missing one thing, but this is what I found to start. I thought pairing it with a dinosaur might be kind of fun. And so I was looking for one that was the right size and had some sort of element that could go over the beer bottle so they could sort of sit together well. So I like that this one had the neck going around so we could kind of nestle the beer bottle right next to it. And I think that one might work. But then I found this dinosaur that is also a good size and also has its tongue sticking out. So the bottle might work with this dinosaur too. And he's like, it's looking at the beer bottle. That might be good. I do think that this might need one more image, one more element, or maybe it needs a background or something. Haven't quite figured that out, but I think that, you know, the pairing of those two will be good. The last one is the photo with the woman drinking the coffee cup and the cigarette. I really like her pose. So in this New England book, I found this aerial view of these buildings. I thought maybe we could tuck her behind some of the buildings. Then I could also take her cup and this uh, plate and maybe put them on top of some of the buildings here. So it'd be like she's having breakfast on top of the buildings. I kind of do feel like I'm juggling three collages right now, but I think they all have potential. So I'm gonna start with this one just because it's out and we'll see if this woman fits in this background. I do think maybe we might wanna cut out this top part and just put a generic sky back there. It's kind of just adding a busyness that might take away from her, but I'll see what it looks like once I take her out. So let's go forward with this one. I think this is working really well. I love the cup and the plate. It adds to, you know, the breakfast vibes. I think that she's a really great size in the scene. I'm happy with this one. So let's move to the next one. These two fit perfectly nestled in these little flowers. I do think this might be stronger if I crop it a little tighter to the people. But other than that, I think that this came together really well. I Surprisingly, these are going really well today. So let's keep it going and move on to the beer bottle with the dinosaur. So this is interesting and I like how the dinosaur and the bottle are interacting, but it kind of just feels like an ad for this beer company. 
Um, and I feel like it needs something else. Maybe it's a smaller dinosaur and it's interacting with the bottle cap or something. Or maybe I add something else on top of the bottle that covers up the branding. So that isn't as you know prominent. Uh, I just feel like it needs something, but I'm not quite sure what that something is. So uh, let me think about it. So here's my solution that I think might help this collage. So I found this second dinosaur, which I think is pretty close to the same type as this other one. And I'm thinking we can figure out a way to make it sort of look like they're maybe fighting over the beer. So if we put them on either side and we can, you know, clean up some of this stuff. But I also am hoping I can fit the bottle cap in this one's arms. Okay, that's pretty good. Maybe this way. So then it's sort of like they're fighting over the beer, you know, the bottle cap, I don't know, something like that. At least this is sort of maybe telling more of a story than it, when it was just one dinosaur. I do think that maybe this needs, you know, something else, like some sort of ground or sky or some sort of background or something. But I think that at least this is a better story than just one of the dinosaurs. At least this now can sort of be, you know, some sort of a battle. So I'm thinking that this is gonna work well enough. I'm just gonna chop this all right off. So we don't need it. Okay, now we got this one here. And then this guy, I'm gonna chop off a good amount of that. Chop this guy's tail off because we don't need that. Put him back here. <laughs> okay, now we have our dueling dinosaurs. I think that's pretty good. And then let's get the bottle cap back in here. All right, I think that's pretty good. I think it's telling kind of a funny story, which I like. Again, I do think that maybe it needs some more, but I think it's as good as it's gonna get for today. Let's pull out all the collages that we made today. I think we had a pretty successful day. I think that uh, magazine had so much cool stuff in it and we didn't even get to the second magazine that I had. So maybe we'll go through that next week and do this again because those magazines are so fun to look at. And with each of these collages, we played with scale in a pretty dramatic way. So we have this really large lady. We have these two boys who appear very, very small in these flowers. And we have a giant beer bottle. Man, these collages all came out really fun. I love them all. They're not glued yet, but I'll get to that someday. So that's all I have for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next week for another collage video. Bye.